easy turnaround here. As you realize that, you know, the Squishy's Crystal Maiden at 540 HP. But over here, they try to get the block. Ooh, the Fisher. Actually, this should be the kill here onto the Lina. Looking for the Light Strike Array. And of course, with the Snowball. Oh, the turnaround kill. Actually, not really. FY is going to get the first blood. And Freeze, very, very low. Ice Eyes really wants that kill. Cancel the Clarity. And with the Shards, we'll secure that kill. With the Fisher slowing him down. Ice Eyes taking a lot of damage on the tower. FY with the double kill. Uh -uh. Oh, bottom lane. ROTK doesn't have level 6. Could be in danger here, but of course with the Aphotic Shield, Shadow will be pretty much disencouraged from going for the kill. But Holland to turn it around, he's really, really low. ROTK just about to get out, going back in with the Aphotic Shield. But of course, here comes the Snowball. ROTK, they break it. One more right click, and Ice Ice gets it. Just for the extra damage, aggressive. He wants to go right here. Going for the Rage and the open wounds, he's going straight for Shadow, but the Snowball saving him, but now very nicely done, turning back onto Fenrir, Lao going to lay out the call down, but the Global Suns will fly out, Gyrocops are trying to come in for the kill, but a silence though from the last word, and he will die to Fenrir. Now looking for the Light Strike away, and the Laguna Blade into aggressive, blocked by the Shards, will he die here? It actually looks like he will, yep, the nuke from the Visage will finish him off, but Fenrir gets the double, and beautiful Fisher catching onto two, does he, no he doesn't, he's only level four, unfortunately, no Echo Slam, but Freeze. Trying to do as much damage as he can, and actually Shadow and Wings, they will get a bit of assist gold coming out to kill off Freeze. And take this tier 1 very easily, as Ice Ice gonna try and stall the push with the shards. Nope, getting the punchy punchy, but now he's gonna use the open wounds onto Ice Ice, going with the snowball. Crystal Maiden was there, so he's gonna go all the way to the back, actually used it onto the cart. And actually, he needs to try and infest into the creep, yes he will. So he gets out just barely, well he actually come back out. Fenrir really diving for this, going for the freeze, but immediately cancelled. And now with the global signs looking for FY, he's going for the echo slam, catches the visage just the very tip with the fissure as well. And aggressive will finish off Ice Eyes, however. Now looking for the call down, they're gonna try and they need to run out this one. Aggressive. Catching into the call down. Just at the base on second missile. Yep, so Shadow will finish him off. Alright, so we're looking at VGJ. They they seem to have a firm grasp on the like the situation of the game so far. They're just taking things nice and slow. You get these tier two towers, you get some objectives, but hold on, the TP's coming and they commit the echo slam for it. They want to go straight into the shadow. And can they burn this helicopter out of the sky? Looks like they can, freezing it off, and bam, Aegis will go down. Can they secure the Aegis kill? Nope, Stampede up to the top lane. They did cancel some TP's there, I believe, with the familiar stuns, and they will kill off that Visage. Now the Laguna Blade into the lifesteal of the Borrow Time, we are not able to save aggressive. And RTK going up against the Lina solo right now, but it looks like he'll actually be forced to back off. As Freeze and friends will just kill off Shadow the second time. RTK, you have to run this one off. I don't think you go back in. You need someone back here. The Light Strike Array. A bit more damage. Right click, and of course, ah, oh, he actually pops the wine charges and it catches him just at the very tail end of that horse. So, anyways, it's gonna be a four for two trade. Oh, RTK all the way in the front line, he's going for the Echo Slam, immediately straight into the center. They have to kill him before he gets the Stampede us with the Global Stallions coming out. But Shadow pops the BKB, and he's actually going to be okay. But actually, will he die here? They pop the Shine, aggressive, getting the kill to Fabian. And Shadow is going to run there. BKB is not going to save you. Holland there. Oh, nice snowball. Can he kill Freeze off here? I think they can. The plus two coming up. And with the Freeze, if you're doing big damage, they get the kill. And the Visage getting the return kill on the top from that high gun. And Spenry gets the double already, and they will just kill off this Lina very, very effortlessly. And now. Visage should be going down here as well. Full team wipe as Wings Gaming lose that engagement against VGJ. Alright, so RTK gonna start chipping away into the tier 2, but now the snowball, they wanna try and catch him. The Fisher to slow things off, actually chipping them, blocking them off from the wrist. And now they're gonna pop the Stampede for that, even using. Ooh, there's a nice Echo Sam catching onto him. They really wanna kill the Tusk guy very, very badly. And Ice Ice, one more right click, they will get the kill here. RTK, a product shoot, ooh, not popping into the borrowed time. He needs to run away from this, and he's gonna use that Mist Coil so he gets a bit of HP back, and the call down. Taking care of the sentry ward, this thing's be a bit dangerous here, the global silence will be popped. Oh yeah, this could be a disaster, popping the freezing fuel, but Fenrir is going down first, it seems he's forced to run away, he needs to try and run, and the rocket barrage shoots the poor crystal maiden out of the levitational stage. And Shadow, running to RTK, the Aphotic Shield will, will be enough, actually, that's the question. RTK has the borrowed time again, FY getting the kill, they'll find the second onto Faith Bian, and looks like they should be able to find the familiars as well. Alright, so that should be the tier 2, but they want to go straight for the initi initi initiation into the backline. Silencer, and bam, can he get him down first? I don't think so. And actually, no, now with the call down and the global sign is going to be used to stifle the momentum of the fight, like I talked about. But Centaur Run is going to get a chase by Aggressive. He has the Aegis, so he's not really afraid to come in onto him. RTK going to be running back on. He still has to borrow time. Actually, no way, he just came off the cooldown. My bad. And Aggressive over in the backline, the Warriors Punch onto FY. Still hasn't used that Echo Slam, and they will be losing the Tusk first. Of course with the Aphotic Shield, they can debuff him if anything goes wrong, they're not too afraid about that. Now looking for the Pooh Stomp to catch him, Borrowed Time's gonna be procced, and of course they'll go straight for the Centaur. Now Forced Up, oh beautiful, Echo Slam catching onto the backline, catching onto two, and Shadow. 
Their cooldown gonna expire, even if their butterfly aggressive gonna pop the rage, he wants to go straight for shadow. But Radin gonna get four staff out with the Laguna Blade, they should be killing off RTK right here. Aggressive still has the Aegis, he's gonna find himself one kill from Freeze. Plus two, but okay, life still should be losing the Aegis right here. Fenrir gonna get the nice Frostbite onto the Lina, they don't have any detection though. FY Alder in the back with the gem, and aggressive will be backing out. Fisher maybe? Fisher maybe? Yep, they get the Fisher to cancel it. Oh dear, right outside his own base, you're not safe! There's nowhere to run, and aggressive, they get themselves the kill. One opening, looks like they found it. They found Freeze, the snowball coming in, but the sil sil silver is at your way. Can he force staff out of this? Pops the global silence, looks like they will not be able to find any catch kills. Try and take them from behind. They're actually looking for the Echo Step, now they find the Echo onto two heroes. Really, really big. Ice Ice should be the first casualty as Shadow with the flag cannon trying to do whatever he can, but RTK pops the broad time. And for some reason, I'm getting this FPS lag, but Faith Bian, not gonna get chewed through by the... Oh no, that double damage actually not able to chew through him. And RTK and friends are gonna run with Infest damage coming out, getting the nice double hoof stomp out. And of course, FY getting the Fisher cancelling, both of them stopping them in their tracks, and Faith Bian should be going down here, looking for the... Visage should be dying here, there's nowhere to run. Alright, they go straight there, but the Echo Slam, oh, FY, he got Eve! Oh no, he messed up so bad. The BKB is gonna be popped, FY. He got too excited. Somebody got too excited. Penguin shots. Oh! Trying for the stomp, but now this could actually be the turnaround. The freezing field gonna do quite a bit of damage over there. But now, can he just get the full channel off? It's not gonna be enough as aggressive. He's gonna chew through Shadow. He wants to kill the gyrocopter. He will get the kill onto the gyro. Gyro, will he be forced to buy back? And of course, Visage Nuke gonna be thrown out. Doesn't really do much. Gyrocopter now buys back. Visage should be forced to buy back as well. And they have to try and defend the base. Range racks already goes down, aggressive, he's going straight for Shadow, the Fisher to block him in place, looking for the snowball, saving his teammate, very very nicely done, and he's going over to the back end to the Earth Shaker, but aggressive will kill Shadow off anyways, die back onto him, and that should be one more, this should be the GG right there for Wings Gaming, as VGJ prove that they deserve that Kiev invite, at least from game one alone, and that's going to be VGJ very very happy about that. GGJ are just emphasizing on winning that silence. Of course, with the first night time, Ice Ice, you wandered into the into the wrong neighborhood. They want to keep on going, RTK. They pop the chaotic offering. Ooh, with the three heroes into the storm with the double ledge. And that should be the storm spirit going down as well. Perfect chaotic offering coming out from Fenrir. So, okay, VGJ right now, they will start to siege the tier 2. Still have a bit of that double damage. FY going forward. Do they have any follow up? Yep, they get the hoof stomp and the double edge. Goodbye. So oh, now going in, they want to pop the primal split, zipping all the way to the back line, but they, it's been popped. Where's the chaotic offering? Now gonna be landing right at the, Oh, with the remnants! The damage destroys Blink! And the false promise will be used defensively on himself. They're gonna try and kill him up with Oracle. The primal split not really paying off. And FY, actually, no, Fenrir gets the kill. And of course, with the. Oh, the initiation at the back line, they kill off Shadow. And this could actually be a dieback from the Oracle. What's Oracle doing? Okay, to get the fortunes in, of course, with the nuke, with the purifying flames to get one kill. This is just a repeat of game one. Like, now they're going to zip in. They want to try jumping him, but it looks like they will not be able to now zip into the back. Doesn't seem like they'll find it and actually freeze, demolishing off that Oracle. And with the stampede, they will just disengage and decide to go back in. Now looking for Ice Ice, the much easier kill for sure. FY, of course, with the remnant forward. Bang, trying to catch someone with the steering chains. Well, catch on to Faith Bian. And Freeze is going to get Vortex, it zipped back in and will die to the Storm Spirit. But the Cotto Blast dealing quite a fair bit of damage, aggressive, well time lapse out. Doesn't want to get too low. RTK is still all the way under the tier 2 to get the Stomp. Looking for the Double Edge to get the kill here. Okay, Shadow Word going to do quite a fair bit and Faith Yen will go down. But hold on, the outflank coming up from VGJ. They pop the Night Time, they're going to go from the back, go straight for the Coddle. I believe, actually no, they pop the Chaotic Offering, lending to 4 heroes with the Chains and the Fader Bonds onto everybody. The Primal Spirit is going to come up, but Freeze gets the double. Oh, they're gonna actually kill off all these beautiful bears. How do you initiate? Usually you would expect that Faith Bien is the one who initiates into them. But now the Stampede, they're going straight to the back line. They wanna kill Gandalf. Gandalf, no! And Ice Ice, he goes down. They get the chains onto Oracle. Oracle goes down as well. Both supports down. VGJ just diving past and aggressive. is actually the first one to notice that, hey guys, there's actually a tier 2 still standing. Alright, so VGJ take themselves another tier 2 and they will start to, to break the high ground. But hold on, the sharing change onto the Brewmaster with the silence as well and the Void. Do they have enough damage for the Brewmaster? He doesn't want to be forced to use the Primal Split. They get a stomp, double edge, clean up nice and easy and actually it looks like he will be forced to buy back. Zipping all the way in, gonna go straight for RTK. The buyback will come on up from Faith behind the silence. Landing onto the... Oh, onto the Centaur. Does he die here? The Chaotic offering into the back line. Two heroes, Fatal Bonds landing onto three. And big stuff, they're trying to try and kill Blink, but he's gonna zip to the fountain. 
So meanwhile, looking at all these bears, they actually be really, really low. Looking for the double staring chains onto Oracle and keep up the light again. He's just gonna TP back. Can they kill RTK? No, they can't. He's just getting healed up. Oh, I don't think they kill anyone here. And of course, Freeze comes back into the party. Oracle did again for another 10 seconds, of course. But now the silence coming up, landing the two heroes. We're gonna pop a stampede, go charging straight into Shadow. And I'm pretty sure Weaver doesn't even want to use time lapse. He doesn't care. Now, buy back up in the drow. Zipping in from Blink. He's gonna try and kill the Night Stalker. Can he kill him? He's doing too much. He pops the night time with the silence up. Storm's gonna go down here. 25 seconds. Will he be forced to buy back? Can they hold the high ground? The double steering chains comes out. The chaotic offering. Golem still doing quite a fair bit of damage as Freeze. An aggressive going ham. And looks like they will kill the Brewmaster off as well. And that was a buyback onto him. We have keep off the light to follow him into the grave. Drow Ranger is not able to do anything. Buyback up from the Coddle. Storm of Spirit does not want to buy back. Shadow's really low under the tier 4 towers. And of course, he used a ton of diffuser charges for that. Freeze, he's nowhere near done. He's actually going to come back in in just a fair bit. Aggressive on the way out. Put the sentry down to pop the dust. They want to try and go back for him. Of course, here comes Freeze. Hello, hello. Where are you guys running? With the remnant, he destroys both. And Storm Spirit, he's going ham. He finally kills off Aggressive. And it's a 1.5k kill. But now the Sharing Chains is going to be up there onto the Storm Spirit. And Miss Spirit, he's going to try and burn his brother down. Oh, they found nice eyes. They zip in all the way to the back line though. They want to go straight for the Weaver. They want to try and kill him off. Can they help him though? The Stomp is going to be there and actually Aggressive almost dies. He time lapses out most of that damage and it looks like Storm Spirit will go down. And now of course with the Stampede coming out, looks like the Shrine. Fenrir needs to get out. The double steering chains onto the Kotto and the Brewmaster with the Remnants in. Do they have enough damage? RTK looking for the Stomp. They want to try and kill Ice Eyes. They actually will successfully kill him. You have to tossing him up into the air. This should be Faith Yen going down one more time. They call it GG. They've been battered. They've been bruised. Their wings have been clipped. And VGJ are victorious 2-0. 38-7.